A 60-year-old woman underwent heart transplantation for restrictive cardiomyopathy and was started on transplant rejection prophylaxis. On a follow-up visit, physical exam shows enlargement of the gum tissue and hirsutism. Serum studies show hyperlipidemia. The physician recommends removing a drug that decreases T-cell activation by inhibiting the transcription of interleukin-2 from the patient's treatment regimen and replacing it with a different medication. Which of the following drugs is the most likely cause of the adverse effects seen in this patient? Now, out of the answer choices that are listed below, only tacrolimus and cyclosporin are going to work by inhibiting the transcription of interleukin-2. So just as a quick review, tacrolimus as well as cyclosporin are going to create a complex by binding for cyclosporin is going to bind to cyclophilin and create a complex to inhibit calcineurin. Tacrolimus is going to bind to FKBP to form a complex and this complex is then going to inhibit calcineurin. And the whole purpose of inhibiting calcineurin is so that we're not going to get transcription of IL-2, which is then going to reduce the strength of our immune system so we don't get transplant rejection. Now, one way that I like to remember these two drugs is by, um, I made this picture. So cyclosporin sounds like cycling sport. So I have this picture of this guy riding this uh, cycle. And tacrolimus reminds me of a taco. It's very similar to the word taco. So now I have this taco behind this guy. And so there's two of them and they're in love. And so this reminds me of IL-2 because there's two of them and they're riding a bike together. So it's IL-2. And so this is how I remember the mechanism of action of these two drugs is by inhibiting the transcription of IL-2. Now I put this kidney over here and as they're going, they're stepping over the kidney and damaging it. And this is to help me remember that both of these drugs are highly nephrotoxic and it is very important to know. And they're riding the bike into this H-shaped bridge, as you can see over here. And so this also helps me remember the mnemonic that I made with the seven H's for the side effects of cyclosporin. So we're going to see hirsutism, hyperplasia of gums, hypertension, hyperglycemia, harm to kidneys, hair loss, resulting in alopecia, and hyperlipidemia. So with our patient, we saw hirsutism, as well as hyperplasia of the gums, as well as hyperlipidemia. So this indicates that the IL-2 transcription inhibitor that she was given was most likely cyclosporin. And the reason for this is because tacrolimus is not going to cause gingival hyperplasia or hirsutism. So the way I like to remember is that Tacrolimus uh, has very really similar side effects, except that it's not going to cause gingival hyperplasia and hirsutism. And one way you can remember this is that you can't eat a taco with gingival hyperplasia. It'll make it harder if you have your gums, they're just too big. And to remember that it also does not cause hirsutism, you know, no one wants to eat a hairy taco. So that is how you can remember this as well. Now there's going to be a increased risk of neurotoxicity and diabetes with tacrolimus. So the way I like to remember these factoids is that if you eat too many tacos, you will get diabetes. And remember that hyperglycemia is toxic to our nerves. And this is going to help you remember that um, with tacrolimus, we also see a increased risk of neurotoxicity. So as I said earlier, because we saw that she had enlargement of the gum tissue, as well as hirsutism, the best answer choice is going to be cyclosporin.